gas metal arc welding or MIG welding is an emerging technology that's making life a whole lot easier for our artists. This welding method can be done with hard wire, it can be done with flux core. In this case, we're seeing a machine that's a 110 unit, it can be plugged into any electrical outlet, and we've got argon gas on the back side. Uh, and here's a close up of the torch it's a lightweight torch. You can get the uh, MIG wire in close places. The shielding gases are a necessity in order to make the weld work, especially with the hard wire method. In this case, we have an 023 wire, very small welding size, and we're showing the inside of a, a Lincoln unit here and the rollers. When you pull the trigger on the MIG unit, you have wire fed through, you get the gases if you're using hard wire and you get your electric current all at the same time. So it's basically one hand welding. We're not having to have any electrode or filler rod uh, fed in by the left hand so you can hold pieces in place if you want to hold pieces in place. Here's the slave roller and then it clamps down and interlocks with gears on the drive roller. The more industrial machines generally work off of 220 or 240. In an industrial factory situation, it will be 440. This machine is set up as an industrial type machine. It has two sets of drive and two sets of slave rollers. This is a machine that can run all day and all night. It has a high duty cycle, maybe 80% duty cycle and uh, you can run it continuously without the machine overheating or having problems. The rollers have tensioners on them that are adjustable and in this case we're using a 035 MIG wire. Uh, the Roller will unroll the wire as the trigger is pulled and the weld is being completed. The front of the machine is very simple. It's a digital setup. There's a trap door here on the front that uh, has instruction manuals and settings that you would need for different thicknesses of material and different welding situations. Some of the newer machines have what's called pulse which will help in uh, welding aluminum in particular. Here's a chart that shows the uh, different thicknesses of material that you can use and the different settings on the front of the machine that you can adjust with these two dials. We need a shielding gas, in this case argon CO2. The regulator was already set up here with about 20 pounds of uh, pressure. Here's a trailblazer setup uh, from Miller with a suitcase. And this is a very portable uh, machine. It can be used in construction and, uh, context with flux core wire with no shielding gas. This weld is being accomplished on 3 8 plate with the flux core, attaching a small bar to it. It's all rusty metal, a lot of sparks, notice. Here's a close-up, put it right down close in. A little bit of weaving between the two and the wire, the wire just melts right in. Very simple process. This shows the flux coating after the flux cord wire has 